There's a by-election in Rotherham on Thursday, November 2012, because the last MP was a crook. It's three parties that have a realistic chance of winning, Labour, Respect and UKIP. We all know why Labour can win this election. It's a Labour heartland. You can take a lamppost or any dead duck, stick a red rosette on it, and it would normally win. And Labour in London know this. Head office in London have decided a local lot shouldn't stand and replace him with a career politician. I'm not sure the reason they gave, but maybe it's a, a women-only shortlist. It wouldn't surprise me. I still see myself as old Labour, and there's some great people in the Labour Party. But Labour seems less and less like my party. The other possible winners are the Respect Party. They run in Bradford. I don't know how they will keep all their promises. I also don't think they have the same support base in Rotherham as they did in Bradford. And finally, we have UKIP. They came third in the last by-election and second in Barnsley. They're surging with the outrageous actions by social services. They, this has probably made UKIP favourite for a by-election upset. See the Guardian article in the description box. Those are the choices as I see them. There's only three choices. A vote for the Tories, Liberal Democrats, English Democrats or others. It's just splitting the UKIP vote. If you don't want to be taken for granted, sure you can do a protest vote, but a protest vote for David Cameron or Nick Clegg is an oxymoron. The bookkeepers and the people who bet their own money have the same opinion. Labour are favourites and the others are UKIP and Respect. See the screenshot. But UKIP, unlike Respect, can apply pressure on the Tories. And you haven't seen the Tories offering a deal with any other party. The Tories are running scared of UKIP. UKIP has more issues than leaving the EU. Controlled immigration, one nation, anti-war, pro-defence, rule of law for everybody, including child grooming gangs and bankers, reducing regulation on small employers. If you had just one UKIP MP in Westminster, they would hopefully cause other Tory MPs to rebel on a few issues, not just leaving the EU. Respect can only apply pressure onto Labour, but Labour are not in office. The Tories are the ones in power. Regarding immigration, it's not complicated. The country needs skilled, healthy, law-abiding people who can speak English. Not a mass of unskilled labour for diversity, cheap waiters, cleaners and votes for the left. If a hundred new jobs are made and two hundred unskilled immigrants come, that means the employment situation will get worse. However, if twenty high-skilled immigrants come, they will pay their taxes, obey the law, speak English, and it's likely more jobs for locals will be made. It should be made easier for high skilled people and harder for unskilled people. The Lib Lab Con either don't want to control immigration, but more importantly, while we're in the EU, they can't control immigration. The whole system in Rottenham looks fishy to me, unusual management and political correctness is placed above the well-being of the people. Not just with this adoption case, but with the child grooming, New Labour's actions on that caused the EDL and BMP to grow. It was one of the best recruiting tools they had. It's not hard to figure out. If you see children being sexually abused, no rule of law, and if you complain, you're just accused of a hate crime. Who are you going to turn to to get protection? If I was a law-abiding Muslim in Rottenham, I would hate political correctness. The new left might pretend they've changed, but just look at what they did with a child fostering case. A couple with an exemplary record who didn't like con uncontrolled immigration and their own money being taken to promote diversity and division within their community social worker and her team just decided it would be better to take the children. They don't care about families, they care about power, control and ideology. 
especially after the death of baby P, there's thousands of more children still in care due to political correctness and critical race theory. The three children were taken away have now been split up. I bet these children aren't even with people of their own ethnic background. So what's the real reason for taking them away? It's called social services, not social authorities. I recommend getting rid of problems at the start. It's easy to get rid of cancer when it begins. And remember, there will be a very low turnout. So every vote will count much more. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.